Hello, my name is Lori Jackson and I'm with the University of Nebraska Equine Extension Group. Today on What to Know Wednesdays, what I was going to talk about is basic body position in a horsemanship class. In horsemanship, it was designed originally as an introductory level riding class um, to then for riders to then potentially progress on to other classes, but as you know, it's become a, a huge class in and of itself. One of the things that I wanted to talk about when we talk about our riding position is it's not really about ribbons or awards or what the judge is looking for. What I want you to really think about when we talk about horsemanship position is actually the functionality and effectiveness of the rider. When we have correct body position, that allows us to be more um, effective with our communication through our horse and those kinds of things. So what I want to do is just kind of first touch base on some of our basic body positions. Uh, one of the things to remember, I encourage no matter whether you're showing 4-H or breed shows, please check your rule book because in each rule book, it has a very descriptive outline and narrative of what they are looking for for correct body position. And again, that correct body position, it's not necessarily about ribbons and awards, but it's about to go be an effective and functional rider with your horse. So when we're thinking about, I have a rider here. One of the things that we want to think about is keeping a line that starts from the rider's head, that goes from her ear, down her shoulder, down to the seam of her pants, and down either through her heel, the middle of her foot, those kinds of things. What that does is it puts the rider to where she's centered and balanced. It also keeps our leg, if you notice when, it, when this rider is sitting here with her position, her leg is behind the cinch or the girth, um, cinch for Western, girth for Hudson. And what that does is that allows the rider to be effective and communicating with their legs at all times with their horses. Essentially kind of think of our legs communicate with what their legs should do. Again, when we have, if we notice our rider, she's very straight, she has a nice flat back, and then she also, her shoulders are nice and square. Horses are very sensitive to what our movements are, meaning they can feel if we open our shoulder this way, if we open our shoulder that way, they feel those things and all of that stuff is very important. Riders work for hours and years to become effective and functional riders, and so every little thing that we do on the horse is very important. So once again, like I said, we have our ear, down our shoulder, down the seam of our pants, and into our heel. As far as our hands go, if you notice, she brings her hands, her elbows are tucked into her side. She's looking straight through her horse's ears, and her hand is just right there next to the saddle horn, and her free hand is kind of matching such. Again, that's not about body, uh, about body position and, or about awards, but it's about being a functional rider to be able to communicate with your horse, to having little adjustments and everything happening there. Just one little tiny exercise, and there's multiple exercises that we can, one little thing to test to see if your body is in correct position is when you're riding, or then you can do it standing up and then also moving um, to move up to a walk, and then you master that, then to a trot, and to a canter or a lope. What, you can go ahead and just stand up into, in your stirrup. You should be able to stand up. If you notice when she stood up, she still has that line. Her leg never moved. And then when she sits down, she just sits down and she sits down right in the middle of her saddle and that leg stays there and it's, and it's still communicating with the horse and nothing's changed much through there. So again, like I said, we want to really think about our horsemanship and our body position more in a bigger context than ribbons and awards or what the judge is looking for. Really step back and think about it as being a functional and effective rider and increasing that communication with your horse so that the horse knows exactly what you want and you're communicating that and then you guys can become a better team and become more successful in whatever maneuvers that you're trying to accomplish. Thank you for being with us today and have a good day.